Let's start off with the design. All the information is indicating a slightly larger and thinner form factor with a larger screen. These concept images were designed by Yanko Design. Uh, there's a link in the description to their website if you want to check out more of their images. I have to say these concept designs are amazing and I believe are likely the closest to what we will see from Apple when the iPhone 5 is released, or at least I hope so. Okay, let's talk about the features and performance. As I said in my last video, the iPhone 5 will use the same dual-core A5 processor that the iPad 2 uses, and Apple may also uh, bump up the RAM as well. The iPhone 5 will have an 8 megapixel rear-facing camera with the possibility of shooting 1080p HD video. And the coolest feature of the iPhone 5 will be the larger screen. A larger screen is a given. Why? Because there are a ton of large screen Android phones on the market and Apple simply needs a larger screen iPhone. So the bad news is the iPhone 5 will not support either AT&T's or Verizon's 4G networks. Apple's excuse is there is not enough 4G network coverage and that current 4G transceiver chips draw too much power and are battery killers. I agree with Apple about the power issue but I think there's plenty of 4G coverage. So no 4G in the iPhone 5, but let's hope by some small miracle that those rumors are wrong. However, the iPhone 5 will be a dual band phone supporting both Verizon's CDMA and AT&T's GSM networks. And of course, the iPhone 5 will ship with iOS 5. So when will the iPhone 5 be released? Well, that's the million dollar question. Normally, Apple updates the iPhone 5 around June or July, but of course, that did not happen this year. The latest news is that the iPhone 5 will be released in late September or early October. So that's the iPhone 5 rumor roundup. So what do you guys think? What features do you think the iPhone 5 will have? Leave a comment down below and let us all know what you think the iPhone 5 will look like, what features it will have, etc. And of course, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And until next time, I will talk to you later.